Your experience with Microsoft Copilot is not a one-size-fits-all. Whether you are using a personal account or a work or school account, Copilot adapts to provide an experience that is just right for your needs. It is compatible with any operating system and browser. You can also access Copilot by downloading the Microsoft Copilot app to your phone. To access Copilot from your computer, open a browser and go to copilot.microsoft.com. You can use a limited version of Copilot without a Microsoft account. However, logging into a Microsoft account using the Edge browser provides the best experience. This allows for extended conversations with Copilot. It also enables the ability to save your conversation history and perform searches and summaries of web pages you are viewing. Are you ready to start your Copilot journey? Let's get started. First, Navigate to Microsoft Copilot. To sign in, locate the sign in option at the top right corner. Now, you will see two options, one for signing into your business or school account and another for your personal account. A personal account provides a free basic option for personal tasks. When you are signed into a personal account, you can add plugins to enhance your experience. If you don't have a personal account, you can create one for free to access Copilot. A work or school account is provided by your employer or school for professional use. Signing in with a work or school account ensures your organization's data is protected. If you are using Copilot for work or school related tasks, you will sign in with this option. This requires you to sign in with your work or school email. If your organization grants you Copilot privileges, you can also use Copilot in your M365 applications. If you don't have an account and need to make one, click on Create One and follow the steps provided. Once you have signed in, be it for work, school, or personal interests, you will unlock access to extended conversations and additional features. Now that you have an account, let's explore the interface. When you scroll down, Copilot offers three distinct conversation styles, creative, balanced and precise. When you scroll over them, you will see the description for each. They also switch colors to help you keep track of which style you are using. You can also add images to your conversation with Copilot. This can be useful if you want to ask questions about an image, or if you want Copilot to generate content based on an image. To add an image, click on the Add Image icon. Once you have selected your image, it will appear on screen and Copilot will be able to analyze it and respond accordingly. Adding files works similarly to adding images. You might want to add a file if you want Copilot to analyze the file's content or if you want to ask questions about the file. To add a file, click on the Add File icon, represented by a paperclip. Once you have selected your file, it will be uploaded and Copilot will be able to access its content. The Recent Conversations section shows your past interactions with Copilot. This can be useful if you want to refer to previous questions or responses. You can scroll through your recent conversations, and if you click on a specific conversation, it will open in the notebook, allowing you to continue where you left off. The notebook feature is designed to handle extensive conversations and tasks. You can write up to 18,000 characters in a single notebook, which gives you plenty of space to ask complex questions, request detailed explanations, or even draft lengthy documents with the help of Copilot. Now, you are all set to dive into the Copilot experience. Are you ready to explore, learn and create in ways you have never imagined before?